fossil fuel and give them the meaning in your notebook notebook science notebook not papers notebook or do not do not scratch out okay just stay in your notebook try to search before we start try to search science notebook get this one okay try to search about fossil fuel and write them with meaning okay write them with meaning so write them with meaning okay for example for fossil fuel we have your petroleum okay try to search the meaning of petroleum okay in your notebook search about of the fossil fuel about the fossil fuel and write them with meaning for example for fossil fuel we have your petroleum okay try to search in the internet the meaning of petroleum okay i give you some of the fossil fuel Try to search the petroleum, the coal, and the oil shell. Okay? Petroleum, coal, and oil shell. Uh, try to search the meaning. Again. Okay, so I give you, okay, so you have to list them. Okay, this one, the petroleum, the coal, and oil shell. Okay, try to search the meaning of these three fossil fuel. Okay, try to search the meaning of this three fossil fuel. Petroleum, coal, and oil shell again in your science notebook you still uh okay uh, write the question first okay Try write the question. Oh. Write the question first in your notebook. Okay. Are you done? Okay. Try to uh, write first the question. Okay. Okay, done writing. Are you done writing the question? Okay, just take a picture and then write to your notebook. Okay, then you have to search the three fossil fuel. You have your petroleum, coal, and oil shell. Okay, try to search the meaning in the internet about the coal petroleum and oil shell okay so these are the three the three of them this one search the meaning okay search the meaning of petroleum coal and your oil shell Okay. Okay, so before we start, try to search first the meaning of the three fossil fuel. Okay, try to 
search the meaning. Okay, are you finished?
Okay. Try to search the meaning. Meaning only of petroleum, coal, and oil shell. Okay, student at the back, are you finished? Oh, stop talking, boys. Okay. Just a simple meaning or short uh, meaning of every fossil fuel. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Okay. Are you finished? Okay, you can just send it to the line. So while you're going to have your uh, word search for the meaning, I will start the discussion. Okay, just listen. So again, it's fossil fuel is the hydrocarbon. From the word hydro, it means water, carbons, that's where it form over million years ago so from the remains of dead organism it means from the dead organism they will produce your fossil fuel just remember dead organism can produce your fossil fuel so we have your tree petroleum coal oil shell are fossil fuel again these are your fossil fuel the tree so we have your petroleum coal and oil shell so other fossil fuel such as petroleum so petroleum we have the two your crude oil and your natural gas again in petroleum we have two your crude oil and natural gas so where is formed from dead marine organism so it means it's underwater so as you can see this one these two example of picture they are the one who take or what produce your fuels okay they are making or produce fuel from where do they get the fuel from your from the dead marine organism again from dead marine organism so they are the one who are responsible or take the fuels okay so from fuels we have first we were going to discuss about your coal okay from coal we have a black or brownish black again black or brownish black the sedimentary rock that can be burned for fuel so this coal is burned from your fuel again it can be burned from your fuel so it composed mostly oh listen it composed mostly of your of carbon which is contains your energy again it released carbon that is contain the energy that can be released through burning so it means from burning the coal it can release your energy okay again it can release your energy from burning the Coal again through released your energy that can be released through your burning. So this picture, uh, try to look at the picture. So this is the example of your coal. So you can see it is what well, this one is the burning coal. So again, it composed mostly of your carbon. So that is your coal. In coal, we have your different types of coal depending on the amount of carbon they contain again depending the amount of carbon they contain so we have your pit your lignite your sub bituminous bituminous and your anthracite so these are the five types of your coal again so we have your example and first so different type of coal first we have your pit again we have your pit so this one is not a coal okay this one is not a coal but it can be transformed into a coal so it can be transformed pit is not a coal but it can be transferred or transformed into a 
cold. So under the right condition of temperature and pressure. Again, this one is under the temperature on and pressure. Again, so this one is not a cold. So pit is not a cold. These are partly decomposed of matter such as your roots, your steam, and your leaves. Again, so these are your roots, steam, and leaves. So these are the decomposed or dead plants. Okay? So this is the example. Came from your roots, steam, or leaves. So peat can be used as your fuel. Again, it can be used as fuel. So it contains the energy from its partly decomposed. So the energy is contained in the decomposed of plant matter. And however, this energy is low. Again, the energy from the peat is low. It's because peat is only about 20% of carbon. Very good. So it only has its 20% of carbon. So it means that these types of coal is energy is low. Again, just where do you find the peat? Again, it's not a coal. This one is not a coal, but it can transfer or transform into a coal. Then where we get the pit? Okay, it is a partly decomposed. So what are those composed? We have your roots. It came from your roots, steam, or some on the leaves. So take a look at the picture. So this is the example of your pits. And of course, it contains 20% of carbon. So that is pit. The second is your lignite or your brown coal. Okay, so this one is lowest quality of coal. So this one is the lowest quality of coal. So young coal that transform or that form when the pressure and temperature increased. Again, this one is formed when the temperature and pressure is increased as sediments were deposited in pits. So this is the example. Okay, from lignite, how many percent of carbon we have? From lignite, we have your 35 to... Okay, very good. So we have your 25 to 30% of carbon. So it gives us the low amount of energy. So this one also is the low amount of energy. But it has a high moisture content. Again, this one is the high moisture content. So this, so this together with its low carbon content result in a high carbon dioxide. So this one is a high carbon dioxide emission. So when it's also, again, when it's lignite is burned, okay, when lignite is burned, it has also the high moisture and low carbon content. Again, the percent of carbon in lignite is 25 to 30%. And it has, again, low amount of energy. So that is your lignite or brown coal. Again, the types of coals that contains carbon, we have first your peat, second is your lignite. So third, we have your subituminous coal or your black lignite. So this one is coal that has been buried for a long time than, than lignite. So it means this one is buried and it has been a longer time. 
And again, how many carbon contains in subbituminous? We have your 35 to, uh, very good. So we have your 35 to 45% of carbon. And this one is, the color is range from gray, to gray black to black brown. It's commonly used in generating the electricity. So this one can be used by burning the coal supply to make a generating electricity. So this one is your sub bituminous coal or your black lignite. Okay, so number four, we have your bituminous coal. This one is the second, okay? This one is the second highest quality of coal. Okay, so this one is the highest quality of coal. Coal that has been buried for a long time than sub bituminous. So this one is the second higher. So has a higher carbon content and lower moisture content. So higher, higher the carbon, lower the moisture gives a high amount of energy when it's burned again bituminous when it's burned it will be the highest or higher amount of energy again higher or high amount of energy when it's burned they making it suitable for the use of steel production okay so they were the one, the sub, uh, the bituminous. They were the one who suitable to use to steel production. So that is your bituminous. Again, types of coal. The first one is your peat. The second is your lignite. The third is your sub bituminous, and the fourth is your bituminous. Next we have, of course. Your anthracite. This one, if bituminous is the second highest quality, this one is the highest, the first. The highest quality of coal. Okay, take a look at the picture. So this is the example of your anthracite. So the highest quality of coal, this one is has the lowest moisture content and the highest carbon content. So how many percent of carbon in anthracite? How many percent of carbon? 80%, very good. We have your 80%. So anthracite is a harder, denser, and gives off more energy. So this one is gives more energy than other types of coal. So this one has the more energy than the pit, lignite, subbituminous, and bituminous. Because anthracite is a high quality of coal. If you see this one, we have your high quality of coal. So it burns cleanly with very little soot and mainly used in Furnaces for metal smelting. Again, this one used for your metal smelting. So these two is the example of your anthracite. Again, this two coal is anthracite. Again, we have lowest the moisture, higher the, con uh, the carbon content. And of course, we have your 80 percent of carbon so that is your anthracite okay so take a look at the chart so we have your chart of types of charcoal that contains carbon so we have of course your first pit lignite minus and 
bituminous and your anthracite. So this pit and lignite travel the time. Okay, by time. Subbituminous, bituminous, and your anthracite is your pressure and heat. Again, pressure and heat. From pits, we how many percent of carbon we have? It's 20% of carbon. Again, listen at the back, students. We have 20% of carbon in pits. So it has the highest moisture content and lowest energy. Highest moisture, lowest energy. That is your pit. From lignite, how many percent we have? 22? 35% of carbon. So again, in lignite, we have 20 to 35% of carbon. It has a lower moisture content and more energy than the pit. So this one is more energy than the pit. So again, the third, we have your subbituminous. So this one is contains about 35 to 45 carbon. And it has lower moisture content and gives off more energy than lignite. Again, than lignite. So this is your subbituminous. Your bituminous is you have contains about 45 to 80 percent. Again, 45 to 80 percent carbon. So has the lower moisture content and gives off more energy than subbituminous. Okay, that is your bituminous. And your anthracite is 80% of carbon, lowest moisture contents, and gives off the highest energy. Now I'm going to ask, how many percent of carbon and bituminous? How many percent of carbon and bituminous? We have your 45 to 80%. Very good. How about how many percent of carbon in pit? Pit. We have your 20% of carbon. Very good. How about your anthracite? Okay, we have your more than or 80% of Carbon. How about your subbituminous? Okay, we have your 35 to 45% of carbon. So, boys, listen. And your lignite is 20 to 35% of carbon. Okay, so coal can be extracted. Again, coal can be extracted from the ground through mining. Okay, through the mining, it can be extracted the coal. Once the coal has been extracted, it can be burned to produce heat for industrial processes, electricity generation, and for other household needs. So this is the example. If this is your coal supply, this one is coal. Travel from the boiler. So this one is your water supply going to the condenser. This one is your condenser. From condenser going to the to here from the boiler. And then wait when it's boiled. When it's boiler, it will be the water will be going up to the steam line. Okay, this one is your steam line. So going down, we will go down to your turbines. So this one is your turbines. From turbines going to generator. From generator, travel to the transformer. 
from the transformer, it will be traveled to the transmission of line. In this part, it will produce your electricity. Again, so this one will produce your electricity. Okay, listen. Okay, listen. Again, from your coal supply, oh, take a look at the picture. Okay, follow me. From your coal supply going to the boiler, this one is coal. So they were the one who responsible for boiler. This one is your water supply going to the condenser. From condenser going up to the boiler. And when the water is boiled, they will going up to the steam line. And then from a steam line going down to your turbines and then from turbines going to your generator and then from generator going down to your transformer and then from transformer it will be your transmission line so this one will be produced by electricity again electricity generation so this one is the example how processed to have your electricity generation okay again once a coal has been extracted it can be burned to produce heat for industrial processes electricity generation and for other household needs okay so these are the example of coal okay so this one is the example of your coal so our topic for today is about your coal and next week we will going to discuss the petroleum and your and your oil shell so i hope that next week you will finish your this one the search for your the word of three okay again we already finished about the coal so next week we will going to discuss the petroleum and your oil shell so these are topic for today about your fossil fuel again fossil fuel is your hydrocarbon so this one is your hydrocarbon. They were the one who responsible for your fuels that release your crude oil or your natural natural gas crude oil or natural gas from your the dead marine organism. Okay, so these are about your fossil fuel fossil fuels and your coal. Okay, any question? Do you understand? Okay, finish your activity and take picture, send to the group, group line, and make an album with your name and number. Okay, nickname and your number. Okay, so these are for today. Thank you. Okay, these are for today. Thank you. Okay.